Don't touch the Sultan, Murik tells Sokoto government. The music rights concern Murik has expressed concern over an alleged sore relationship between the governor of Sokoto, Ahmed Aliyu, and the Sultan, Mohammed Said Abubakar, as well as the rumored impending dethronement of the Sultan. Murik's position stemmed from the recent disposition of 15 traditional rulers by the governor. He thought which the human rights organization said Nigerians Muslims reject. Murik's position was articulated in a press statement issued on Monday, 24th June 2024 by its founder and executive director, Professor Ishak Hakintola. He said that the governor of Sokoto State, Ahmad Aliyu, disposed 15 traditional rulers on the 23rd of April 2024, that was two months ago. However, fillers in circulation indicated that the governor may descend on the Sultan of Sokoto any moment from now using any of the flimsy excuses used to dethrone the 15 traditional rulers whom he removed earlier. Murik advises the governor to look up before he leaps. The Sultan's tool is not only traditional, it is also religious. In the same vein, his jurisdiction goes beyond Sokoto. It covers the whole of Nigeria. He is the spiritual, spiritual head of all Nigerian Muslims. Therefore, any governor who tampers with the stool of a sultan will have Nigerian Muslims to reckon with because the sultan combines the office of a sultan of Sokoto and that of president general of the Nigerian Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, NSCIA. Governor Ahmad Ali, you should not force Nigerian Muslims to take a drastically revolutionary measure. Having a traditional relax leader has been a condition Nigerian Muslims accepted a long time ago as a necessary weakness of the structure which they have to live with. A military governor, Colonel Yakub Mwazo, exposed the soft underbelly when he deposed Sultan Ibrahim Dasuki on April 20th, 1996. Nigerian Muslims were forced to make it a hard decision if Sokoto governors continue to diminish the authority of a sultan. For the avoidance of any doubt, Sultan Mohammed Said Abubakar is not only the sultan of Sokoto but the sultan of Niger the Nigerian people. His performance and style of leadership have waned, have won them into the hearts of Nigerians. Nigerian Muslims, north and south of a country, may be constrained to pick Islamic scholars only as president general of the NSCIE and overall leader of Nigerian Muslims. It will be farewell to the leadership of traditional rulers over the NSCIE and an irreversible departure from Sokoto's privileged leadership position. But history will not be kind to Colonel Yakubu Mwazu and Ahmed Ali for ruining the chances of Sokoto. That will make it impossible for any governor to harass or intimidate the leader of the Nigerian Muslims. The power and influence of governors over traditional rulers have become absolute and totalitarian in recent time. Nigerian Muslims must be given space to breathe some air of freedom like all other associations. Once is happenstance, twice is a coincidence. The third time is enemy action. If the deposition of a sultan and NSCIA leader happens a second time, Nigerian Muslims will not allow the embarrassment to happen a third time. Murik retreated his call on the Sokoto State House of Assembly to either repel or review the state chieftain's laws by adding the phrase, except the Sultan of Sokoto to Section C's Cap 26 of a law of Northern Nigeria, which empowers the state governor to depose the areas including the Sultan. We urge Northern Elite and Islamic scholars based on the North to intervene before it is too late. This is the time to lobby the Sokoto State House of Assembly and the governor himself. If the chief dancing laws of Kano State can be repelled within 24 hours, nothing stop that of Sukoto State from being reviewed in favor of the immunity for the office of a sultan in a single day to save Nigerian Muslims from humongous embarrassment. It is arbitrary, irrational, and condescending for a state governor to possess the power to dethrone the leader of all Muslims in Nigeria, even when an ordinary chairman of a local government cannot sack the president of a campus student union. It is unacceptable. Enough is enough. In the same manner, it is tactless, reckless, myopic, and senselessly audacious for any governor of Sokoto State who has the power to remove a sultan of Sokoto 
and head of all Nigerian Muslims to actually use that power. Well, once beaten, twice shy. Nigerian Muslims travel this road once under military rule. They will not ply the road again. Huh. Okay, well, what if, what exactly is going on? Eh? Ah, now why, why, why be say governors going to interfere with Shadi? Because there's something that is going on. You see that same way they talk. Once something don't, they don't do once for this country. Before you know it, it is going to be, it is going to be continued. Once they don't achieve, uh, they don't succeed, do something once. And then go say, eh, during this time, we didn't do this, 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 this person will do this one and that one. Wow. Quest for position will not, will not bring down Nigeria. I cannot even understand why they were all busy trying to remove their areas. Like I said, you Yorubas do not find, okay, find it difficult to understand the game on ground. When I talk, I, I go, they look on her. Come from outside Nigeria, let me go tell you, okay? They should defend anything they turn able since they were there. What is their contribution towards the nation building than hiding under the influence of religion? Hmm. Okay. Yet another round of needless controversy was such the manifest of the governor prior to his election. Haba Arewa backward, backwardness instead of partnering the likes of governors of Abia, Niger and Lagos for improved infrastructures and power generation. May Allah continue to strengthen our feet. This governor will surely destroy our nascent democracy. I'm telling you, they are so arrogant and power drunk, irrespective of political affiliation. Because tell me, never reach like this. Let them destroy so that we can rebuild the nation again. <laughs> it's not funny. Now they don't do them. Somebody don't come do them. Now this place where they want the throne. Waiting in the waiting being crying. Hmm? This person where this the governor now, governor I say governor, this enemy of Sokoto the one deep room. Waiting be this thing. Waiting be in crime there, yes. Because to me it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. Make them sure they careful. This dethronement, dethronement, it will cause wahala, plenty wahala. It will cause wahala. Make them be very careful when they dethrone. Make them know where they avoid setting this country ablaze. Eh? This country, we say, they don't, already, it don't be like say, you know, everything food don't already soak well, well. You just need a little spark and everything will go up in flame. So, right on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy. The rest.